rom-com Christmas movies, you know I had to watch these. This one is a good one. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm yours, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about the Netflix movie, Falling for Christmas. Stars Lindsay Lohan. I don't know anybody else in the movie. Sorry. Uh, first off, great setting. Ski resort. I love it. We need more movies, more rom-coms at ski resorts. I just enjoyed the location. I enjoyed the scenery, the mountains. Anyway, we follow Lohan's character. Her name is Sierra. She's rich. Her dad has a lot of money. She doesn't really do anything, though. She She's just there. She, you know, she doesn't do domestic stuff. She, you know. But he, her dad, wants her to take this job with the company. It's not a real job. It's just like a title. And she's like, she doesn't want to do it. But she doesn't know what she wants to do in life. She's dating this guy, Tad. He's an idiot. It's her boyfriend. He's he's an influencer. And he's always talking about setting stuff up to make it look a certain way and everything. You know, they just talk real bougie to each other. Uh, we also have Jake that we run into. He owns like a small lodge in the area. And he tries to convince her father to help his lodge out because his lodge is for, it's smaller and it's for like beginner skiers. And then once they learn how to ski, then they move up to you know, his place, but he gets rejected. Anyway, we follow Sierra and, and Tad. They go up to the mountains. They want to take photos and everything. And they both fall off the mountain. She falls off one way. He falls off another way. It's funny. It's hilarious. It's a cute movie. And when she falls over, she hits a tree. She gets knocked out. Jake finds her, takes her to the hospital. When she wakes up, she doesn't know her name. She doesn't know who she is. So she, you know, it's one of those type of movies. Anyways, they like, you can stay at the hospital, but then she sees the hospital food. She's like, oh no, I can't do this. So Jake was like, she can stay at my lodge, you know, take care of her or whatever. So she goes there and again, she doesn't know who she is, but she doesn't know how to do anything. You know, they, they always say, oh, do something familiar, maybe to help with your memories, but she doesn't, she doesn't know how to do anything. She doesn't know how to make a bed. She doesn't know how to cook. She doesn't know how to clean. So she, she can't do anything. So every time they try to get her to do something, she messes it up just dramatically. But she connects with uh, Jake's daughter. Uh, Jake's daughter has a bunch of dolls and she's like, oh, my dolls have names. You can maybe take one of their names. And then they end up calling her Sarah, you know, throughout the time that she spends there. And you see that connection that she makes with the little girl, which allows her to open up to Jake and to Jake's um, mother-in-law. Just having that connection, that family connection that she doesn't really have with her own dad and her trying to step up and be better, uh, be, be a better person in terms of making up the bed, helping clean up, helping to work at the lodge and do things that she wouldn't normally do in her normal life. Tad, on the other hand, gets found in the wilderness by this guy named Ralph and Ralph is just helping Tad out, helping him survive. And Tad doesn't really change who he is as a person, but He's grateful for Ralph and the things that he does for him in terms of saving his life. It's, again, it's cheesy a little bit. It's a cute rom-com that I enjoyed. The music wasn't bad, um, but it's enjoyable. Christmas movie on Netflix. If you're looking for something chill to watch, I would say watch Falling for Christmas. Have you seen it? Let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Deuces.